Hi. Now for this part of the question then, we're told to assume then that model B follows an exponential model. And we've got to find a possible equation then for that curve here. Well, it's going to take on the form V equals. Now an exponential model is going to have the form E to the power KT. Now because it's decreasing, I would expect this constant k to be negative. We've also got a constant that we ought to put in the front here for where it crosses the vertical axis, the v-axis. So I'm going to call that constant a, and that will be a positive constant. So using the information, the coordinates that I've got here, I should be able to work out what the constants a and k are. OK, so that's the method. So let's just go ahead now and use that model and work this out. So I've let V then equal AE to the power KT, where K is going to be a negative constant and A will be a positive constant. And we know that when T is equal to zero, then the curve cross the V axis at 16,000 and we can then substitute this in and what we get is 16,000 here okay equals the constant a e to the power k times 0 well that's just going to be 0 and e to the power 0 is 1 so that means that we've therefore got a equaling 16,000 Right, so let's move on and we need to work out k and we can do this by looking at the other coordinate that is when t equals 4 we know that v equaled 9000 and if we substitute that in to our equation we've got 9000 then for v equals 16000 which we've got for a and then it'll be e to the power kt that be k times 4 i'm going to write it though as 4k it looks better and then if i rearrange this i've got e to the power 4k equals 9000 divided by 16000 well that's going to be 9 sixteenths okay so let's just come down this column here and if we do that, carrying on, we've therefore got that 4k, if we take natural logs to both sides, we get 4k equals the natural log then of 9 sixteenths. Now, I did divide both sides by 4, and we end up with k equaling 1 quarter of the natural log of 9 sixteenths. Now I could leave it like that as an exact value, that's up to you. If you do carry on and work it out on your calculator, you'll indeed see that k turns out to be a negative value as we would expect. It's minus 0 0.1438 and so on, okay? Which if you round it say to three significant figures is going to be minus 0 SF, three significant figures for short. So therefore, our equation, our exponential curve has the equation 16,000 then times e to the minus 0.144t. Okay, you could either put in the decimal here or you could write in the exact value. That's up to you. Okay.